In this video, we will discuss understanding PageRank and SEO updates. PageRank is an algorithm used by the Google search engine to determine the importance of a website and certain pages on that website. It works by counting the number and quality of links to a page to determine a rough estimate of how important that website is. So for those wondering, PageRank is basically how Google views your site or a site on the internet. And it typically goes from a scale of 0 to 10 being the highest. Most websites are usually going to have a page rank between 0 and 5. And Google kind of looks at it like how, what, how many links are coming in uh, to this website and they determine based on how many links if a website's quality or uh, enough or not. Now, beyond just how many links, they look at the quality of the links coming in. Are they coming in from other quality websites? Are they getting are you getting links from quality sources? Are you getting social shares meaning that people appreciate the content that you're putting out? Page ranks again from 0 to 10. Uh, PR or page rank of three to seven, it's a good page rank. You can use the Google key, the Google toolbar actually to determine your site's page rank. Eight to ten page rank is generally with very large companies, very large websites like eBay, Amazon, Facebook, Google, those types of websites. Generally, your internal pages will have a lower page rank. So your home page is oftentimes going to have the highest page rank. Uh, but if your internal pages have a page rank of one, two, three, that's still pretty good. Page rank is the best known method for how Google ranks sites, but it is not the only method they use. It's just well known. Page rank is one of the 200 methods used to determine search engine ranking. So it's not something uh, that you want to get caught up in, which is why I'm here telling you about it. And it, actually in the past, it probably was a bigger deal than it is today. It does give you a good indication, though, on websites that you're linking to if they're considered quality. It does give you good indication on wh what places you would want to go obtain links from, if at all possible. It also gives you an indication of how your website is performing overall. PageRank is based on the assumption that more important websites are likely to receive more links from other websites, and those links would count as votes. This makes link building important uh, from quality websites as well. Google also looks at how likely people are to land on your site when clicking on links randomly. So this means the more important your links are, the better you will rank. Your search engine rank, SERP as it's oftentimes referred to, is more important overall. You can have a lower page rank and actually outrank some sites. That happens often where you have a low page rank of maybe a one and you outrank a site with a page rank of three or four because Google has many other factors beyond just page rank. This is also perfect proof that there are more factors. Manipulating page rank is much more difficult now. It used to be easy for people just to get a bunch of backlinks. Now it's something that people have to really work at and do a really good job to get a good page rank. Buying high page rank links is something to be careful of. Google actually cautions against that. There are websites where you could purchase links from and you could actually get into big trouble if they find that you're doing that. No follow link attributes um, was added to combat manipulation. So that's why a lot of times you'll see a no follow tag added to links, which means Google won't pass page rank from that link. Again, it's not a foolproof method. It doesn't mean it always works that way, but that is kind of the history behind it. REL equals no follow. It's an HTML tag. It's added to links again to combat the passing of page rank. You'll find this on forums, oftentimes in the signature area, so people can't spam that. You'll find that a lot, a lot of times with blog comments, so people aren't spamming that area. Again, it doesn't mean that getting traffic from forums or blog comments is a bad thing because depending on the source if you're on a quality relevant website related to your niche and you can get traffic from there by all means go for it get a backlink from there and the other topic I want to talk about in this particular video is SEO updates or search engine updates it's when search engines and most noticeably Google makes a change to their algorithm Google's always changing how they rank their websites major changes are the ones you hear about or read about but they're constantly making changes Things like Panda, Penguin, Hummingbird, those are updates that we've all heard of or are familiar with, especially Panda and Penguin. Websites you can follow to stay up to date on the latest search engine updates include searchenginewatch.com, searchenginland.com, and seobook.com forward slash blog. They do a really good job of kind of navigating you through each one of these changes. I wanted to point these out. These are also great resources for additional SEO training and information. 
and these also will tell you more up-to-date strategies and as things change you can really get a good indication here so SEO updates are really important to keep tabs on the one thing I want to tell you is if you are applying the training that we're talking about meaning you're producing quality content you're gonna apply the link building training that we're about to cover here and that's gonna be all about obtaining links quality links and doing a good job of it if you do it the right way SEO updates are nothing for you to fear if you're going about it the wrong way meaning you're stuffing keywords you're just putting out crummy content you're creating ghost pages hidden pages whatever you can do you're doing all the black hat SEO stuff then SEO updates will hurt you and you do need to be worrying about them but if you're following this training and you're doing things the right way you're optimizing your site and making sure your viewers have a good experience your mobile responsive all those things then you should be just fine when the SEO updates roll around now one thing to caution you of though moz.com another big one it's formerly known as SEO moz moz.com forward slash blog one other thing I want to point out to you though is with these updates is really look at how they impact maybe strategies you've done in the past so example penguin and panda they were big about uh, backlinks and those kind of things and so you would want to go in and kind of disavow those links go into the webmaster tools and do what's called a disavow of those links meaning get rid of those links from low quality sorts uh, that Google may find for you so you might find that within your Google webmaster tools you may find that Google actually tells you what links that they want to see you get rid of and so you need to be careful SEO updates have been known to cripple businesses so be careful about staying in compliance with the search engines always stay concerned about your users experience and you should be good stay focused on producing the best content possible and use the methods being taught in this course again avoid black hat SEO gimmicks focus on gaining exposure for your business instead of just you know gaming the search engines things like blogging video podcasting article like uh, doing guest posting content marketing industry article sites forums those types of things social media marketing Twitter Facebook LinkedIn Pinterest banner ads paid traffic through Facebook ads Google AdWords or Bing ads these are all things you want to look at because if you're if you're getting as much exposure as possible you're going to minimize the impact of an SEO update you never want to be hundred percent reliant on the search engine traffic yes this is an SEO course yes SEO can send you great amounts of free quality traffic but it's also something you want to be leery of because if you are all your eggs are in the SEO basket and that falls through you're in big trouble that's why having good content out there blogging video podcasting articles social media banner ads paid traffic those are all things you can do to ensure that you're protecting yourself if an update comes in and wipes out your business next we're gonna talk all about link building strategies